I'm SamanthaVegaMakeup.com and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be the first installment of a new segment or a series that I am starting here on my channel called Makeup Minute. Basically what Makeup Minute videos are going to be are short, sweet, concise, to the point videos on showing you how to do certain tips and tricks to achieve very popular techniques that everyone wants to learn how to do, like a perfect red lip, wing liner, how to create your own setting spray, how to create your own cream highlighter, just a bunch of videos and I definitely have a list of things that I want to show you guys and today in this video we're going to start out this series by showing you how to apply bottom lashes. I know that you guys subscribe to other people here on YouTube and I'm pretty sure you've seen how to apply top lashes already but bottom lashes can be a little bit more tricky so I decided to do a makeup minute video on that. And these makeup minute videos are going to be five minutes or less. So they're gonna be very, very short and like I said, to the point. The first thing you need are tweezers or some sort of lash applicator. Personally, on myself, I like to use traditional slanted tip tweezers. I think it's a little bit more easy for me to use. These are ones that I've had for years and this is from Sephora. But when I'm doing top or bottom lashes, on clients, I like to use this guy right here, which is an actual lash applicator, and this is a MAC brand. Now, you can get any brand that you desire because there are so many lash applicators out there. Next thing that you're going to need is glue, and this is my favorite brand of glue. It is the INV by KISS 16 hour strip lash adhesive, and this one is in clear. They also have it in dark, which I do have, but I always recommend using the clear when you're doing bottom lashes because if you don't want to smoke out your bottom lash line, then you'll have this dark strip of glue if you use the dark tone adhesive. Just like top lashes, you need to trim these to your eye shape if you don't have a lot of eye space. The first few steps to applying bottom lashes are just as similar to applying top lashes. What you want to do first is get your lash into the tool that you'll be using, whether it's a tweezer or a lash applicator. In this case, I'll be using a tweezer. Next thing you want to do is put a thin strip of glue. Do not use a huge gob of glue because it will more than likely get into your eye or really irritate your eye and cause your eyes to run and then defeat the whole purpose. But once you get your glue tacky, you want to go ahead and nestle that lower lash line right underneath your natural lashes of your lower lash line. You don't want to put the lower lashes on top of your bottom lashes. You actually want to go underneath. Bottom lashes tend to droop, as you can see in the video, and you want your bottom lash to actually sit up just like your real lashes. Then you just wanna take the base of whatever applicator or tweezer that you're using and push your lash upwards so that way it sits nice and pretty. This last step is optional, you don't have to do this. I am smoking out my bottom lash line, one because it's what goes with the look that I'm doing today and it does hide the lash band a little bit better. And there you have it guys, easy, three, two, one, one, two, three, ABC. <laughs> but that is how you apply bottom lashes. That's personally the technique that works for me the best. You may have a technique that works better for you and if you do, feel free to leave it down below and let everyone know what technique works better for you when applying bottom lashes. If you found this video helpful, please rate a thumbs up. And don't forget to share this video with your other friends who are virgins to applying bottom lashes. Trust me, they make all the difference sometimes and it's amazing. Once you figure out how to put them on, you'll never wanna go back to just mascara. That is it for today's Makeup Minute video. Please stay tuned for more Makeup Minute videos in the future. If you had a Makeup Minute topic that you would like to see on my channel, please leave it down below. And remember, Makeup Minute videos are very short and concise, so please pick a topic that I can shrink down to five minutes or less. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys later.